So, I I watched Artemis Fowl. This is what I think about it. So right off the bat is that this movie's full of exposition and narration that can also muddle the story because the the exposition by Josh Gad voiceover is kind of like this is when Artemis realizes that this will happen. Uh, it just also ruins the fun out, out of it, and it just takes so much exposition to move the story forward. Also, the pacing in this movie... Uh, 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 this movie is really short. It's like 94 minutes. 94 minutes. And there's some plot points that are just convoluted and don't exactly gain the plot. And it is so confusing because everything is just being like sped through so fast. It's hard to have time to breathe. Another thing that I find interesting is in the... Like, closer to the final lap in that whole house battle that lasts for such a long time at times you like so the pacing's all over the place i wasn't the biggest fan of that also i wasn't the biggest fan of the acting some of the acting how do i put this let's just say wasn't up to my expectations especially some of the child actors and actresses especially the person that played artemis fowl and the person that played holly <sighs> Sadly, I wasn't the biggest fan of them. Right before I say something else, just remember that this is just my opinion, that my opinion isn't the right opinion, it's just my opinion. Also, we were constantly told what we're supposed to think about these characters, but isn't exactly showed. For example, the whole plot's about how Artemis is supposed to be like this criminal mastermind. But the whole plot that they actually chose doesn't really show any of that or any of his skills or how he could be an, an antagonist that I know was explored through the books but I haven't read the books I think I've read like the first chapter or something seriously I think that's all I've read about this book but yes I keep getting recommended to read this book by people at school so it just felt like this whole plot was about family and not about Artemis' skills and his criminal mastermind technique. I just feel like we weren't sh just shown enough of that to make it believable. To be like, that kid, criminal mastermind right there. Also, the friendship between Artemis and his dad. Uh, it wasn't the best friendship because Artemis is set up to be this person who kind of cares for himself. So, it feels kind of weird when suddenly kind of loves his dad and it's just because we're told to that's his dad he loves his dad yeah yeah that's, that's definitely why it, it's it's just that the i can't exactly see that through the dialogue especially the fact that it doesn't really help that literally no emotion is conveyed through any of the performance or the plot in general seriously there isn't much suffering to artemis the big suffering that I think he goes through is dropping a glass of milk <laughs> uh, closer to the start of the movie. Also, some of these plot lines are very convoluted. The plot in general, uh, whew, it was just predictable. The pacing was off the chart, sadly, and the amount of exposition. And for some reason, everyone kept on speaking in weird Christian Bale voices like, yes. I'm speaking like this now. I'm Batman. Oh, sorry, wrong universe. Can we just get his Josh Gad Ola voice? Anyway, I don't know. Seriously, in this movie there isn't much suffering, which can muddle a cohesive story. Also, some of the acting, especially that's supposed to be during these emotional scenes, don't really help. Especially the scene where Holly's like trapped and is like taunting Artemis. Some of the dialogue some of the acting in that <sighs> there's also some things i don't understand why they're necessarily in the movie like there's a scene where holly has to go save a bunch of people from like this troll in a wedding i never understood that also the problem when there's like little emotional scenes even if there is is the fact that well these characters have wants but there is a need so the whole plot line is about him trying to save his father who is captured he, 
I find there isn't something that he learns along the way saving his father. Some sort of character trait. He kind of stays the same at the start and, and the end. And sadly, that applies to most of the characters. Some of the characters that like follow a ton of rules, like basically Dom, I think it's like on Mrs. Sidekick or Butler. He doesn't exactly have the most emotions, so when these emotional scenes happen to him, which do happen in the movie, sadly don't feel the most. These characters don't learn the most, and they have one but not means, so they can't coexist with it or create something new. So they can't have an arc, which is very unfortunate. So it can make the characters feel a bit bland, and it could feel like spectacles for spectacles. Like, let's talk about the CGI. The CGI in this movie it looked very dated. It looks, in my opinion, it, it, it just didn't look good in my opinion. My opinion just didn't look real. It couldn't feel like you were tr being transported. It didn't feel like it had its it had its own style of its own. It was like a weird mesh of colors that just looked weird. It reminded me of the CGI in Captain Marvel. I'll do a review of that later. Also, it is a bit confusing in parts. So another thing is, is this whole side plotline with this character of Holly, who wants to clear his like father's name, for for his like father's name. The part where I'm confused by that is the friendship between him and Artemis that ma that makes him to create this big decision later in the movie didn't have enough setup to make it feel meaningful or to make it, it just feel so rushed and everything in the most character important moment in this movie was so rushed and they didn't have enough backstory to support it. Another thing is this follows some trends that happen a lot in the movies which is freeing someone who is in jail and then of course to because the person in jail has to help them and then of course the person in jail ends up betraying the person who freed them well this follows the same cliche uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's just very predictable makes the plot seem predictable and it, uh, the characters make decisions that i feel like shouldn't have been called for also this movie feels kind of repetitive in what happens like there's some like in some action sequences there's one in like the final battle where everyone's just going ah 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 and we're constantly reminded of things like get the oculus yes the oculus or artemis is smart that's right that's right artemis is very smart we're in the movie the plot line that they chose didn't exactly support that the most also it feels like we didn't get to explore that much of anything it just felt so small scale it just felt weird. It felt like a episode from a Disney Channel show or something. Like Descendants. It felt kind of like that rather than a big budget supposed to be blockbuster movie. Also, why did the fairies allow Holly to... I don't even know what they did to Holly. Sadly, it's just so confusing. I don't know exactly what they did at all. But And then Holly suddenly did something and then there's like this weird hole that everyone is flying into, then he decided not to follow the hole. <sighs> this movie is just so confusing, wasn't the biggest fan of that. I also feel like this movie didn't exactly have to give the characters time to breathe. There's action set piece between action set piece, and it was kind of evident that reshoots were taking place during this. It felt like some scenes were inserted in weird places. I also couldn't tell that this was a Kenneth Branagh film. Sadly, I couldn't. Maybe it's that I haven't watched enough Kenneth Branagh movies. I've only seen like Thor, and I've heard about Murder on the Orient Express, and that here is going to be in Tenet, but other than that, I don't know much about Kenneth Branagh, but let's just say there wasn't the most amount of Dutch kills in this movie. Huh. Interesting. Maybe that's just like Jake stereotypes. Like, remember, what I just said was a joke. Please don't take it seriously. Also, the main villain in this movie, like, wants to kill Artemis' dad or something. I've never understood why villains give him, like, these timelines, like, you only have a few hours to stop. Why? Just kill him immediately. I never understood that, and this movie follows that that way, and I definitely wasn't the biggest fan of that. Also, since the friendship between Artemis and Holly was so rushed, the decision to save Artemis just feel like it wasn't earned enough because it wasn't set up. That happened a lot in this movie. As well as characters that are just like sidekicks, especially the character of Juliet. I never understood her placement in this movie that much. Sorry about that. Overall, I didn't enjoy Artemis Fowl at all. It was probably one of my least favorite films of all time. Sadly, I didn't like the acting. It, the plot was 
definitely not that good. The CGI was not that good. Sadly, almost everything about this movie I didn't like. And I'll give Artemis Fowl an F. I know that's the first time I've given something an F, but I haven't seen a movie like this in quite a while. Sorry. Please like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thanks, bye. See you later.